Okay, when you get Visual Studio Code installed on your computer, there are three things that you need to do first. As you can see from my screen, I use a dark theme. The dark theme makes it easier on my eyes, especially if I'm working at night. But you may prefer to use a lighter theme. So what you can do is simply come down on the left side, down to the gear icon, and then you'll come up to color theme. And then you'll find here several options. One is the light visual studio. You can click that to see what it looks like. I'm going to use the F1 key to open that option box again. And uh, so we can type in theme, color theme. And here is a quiet light. So you can just keep searching for whichever theme that you think is best for you. What I prefer is this dark Visual Studio. But you pick whichever theme works best for you. But in all of my videos, you'll see the dark theme being used. Now, the second thing you need to do is to connect Visual Studio to your Dropbox folder because Dropbox is where you're going to save all of your files. Over here on the left pane, we have some icons, five of them. The first one is called Explorer. If you'll click it, and then right here where it says no folder is opened, click that, and click to open a folder. And this will open up your Windows Explorer and just simply scroll down after you have Dropbox installed, you'll see a link here to Dropbox. You'll just click on Dropbox and go ahead and select that folder. I'll see everything that's in my Dropbox folder listed here in the navigation pane. And I'm going to come down to this MISM 3307 and I'll select a file. This is where you will find your week one, week two, week three folders. Yours will actually look just exactly like this because this is where I will get them. You'll have the assets folder week zero one, week zero two. And so this is where you'll get to all of your folders and do all of your work. Save your files in here in Dropbox and they will be automatically synced up so that I can see them. So after you get Dropbox connected here inside of Visual Studio, then we're going to need to be able to view our HTML pages in a live server. We need to see what our work is going to look like. In order to do that, we're going to get our first extension. And so if you come down to this fifth icon, the one that looks like some little blocks stacked on each other, click that. And that will open up to your extensions pane. And you'll see a lot of extensions along the left side that are suggested and interesting. And I see one here called Live Server. And that's the one I'm going to select. But if you don't see Live Server listed in yours, then you'll want to come up here to the search and just type Live Server. And that should bring it up to the top. Make sure you select live server and then click install and when you do you'll see it installing once live server is installed then you'll see two blue buttons here one is to disable it and the other is to uninstall it you'll want to keep this extension in your visual studio code editor all through this course because what we'll do i'm going to go back to my folders back to dropbox and I'm going to go back into this folder and select a page like this. And here is a file that we'll be working on later this year. It's an HTML file. And this is a file showing the Constitution of the United States. Now, I want to view this code, all of this work I've done. I want to view it in a browser. So I'm going to come down to the bottom down here on the taskbar. I'm going to see a 
link in the lower right hand corner called Go Live and I'll click that. You may get a warning here. It's okay to allow access. You'll be able to see this page now in the, the browser. You'll see up here at the top the web address 127.0.0.1. That is simply a reference to the fact that the page that you're seeing is on your own local computer using port 5500. And then you'll see here the title and folder, the path location of that file. So this is something that you'll want to keep open so that you can see what the work you're going to be doing will look like in the browser. So after you get the theme installed, get it to where you like it, connect to your Dropbox folder, and then install the live server extension, and then you'll be ready to go.